I want to show you a warm-up that the best kayakers in the world do on a regular basis that won't only get you ready for the river, it'll make you a better paddler. Yeah, you can do it too. The basic skills that we're going to work on and the edge drills that we're going to do are going to help make you a better paddler just because you're practicing them. Shift your hips from side to side to warm them up a little bit and then we're going to practice three edges. Practice your edges on both sides. So edge one, edge one, edge two, edge two, edge three, edge three. Get used to changing your edges for the bow smash. The bow smash is pretty simple. You start in a nice neutral position, no huge wind up, nice and neutral, and you're just gonna press with your feet and extend your hips. They're going to go down. And that's the bow smash. Even if you're in a bigger boat, the same thing will happen. You'll still get the rock effect. The next edge we have to use is the stern. Imagine sitting on your back band a little bit. You're sitting into the back of your seat like you're trying to squish something. You're not going to wind all the way up. Start from neutral, stay in the box, and then... When you're ready to put them together, you can go back and forth and do bow smash to stern smash. All right, so once we do side to side and front to back, it's time to do our quadrant drill. If you want to get really good at practicing your quadrants on demand, you can actually have a friend call out random quadrants and then try to keep up. For example, you might do front right, back left, front left, back right. So if that were the case, front right, back left, front left, back right. If you do front right to back left over and over and over again, you'll end up going in a circle. Now let's do front left to back right. Front left, back right. If you do them well and you're in a play boat, you'll find out you're doing lean cleans. Lean cleans are the foundation for edge control and play boating. Lean cleans are a great way to develop better boat control. Then, we're ready to do power circles. The easiest way to learn power circles is to start by paddling on both sides. Just paddle in a circle, but gradually change to paddling just on the inside of the circle. Make sure you turn your head and shoulders into the circle. Look where you wanna go. Keep your paddle nice and vertical. Ideally, you'll use a closed-faced bow draw into a forward stroke, essentially a C-stroke. It's a little harder than it looks, so don't get discouraged and make sure that you stick to the golden rules of paddling. If you haven't seen the golden rules of paddling video, make sure you check it out in the links below. If you do this warm-up, you're going to get a lot better and your boat control will gradually improve. Do it every day, I guarantee you'll see a difference. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm stoked you guys are watching. I'll see you on the river.